And I want to ask you and all your um, listeners, Katie, for one moment to think about this question. If Mr. Chesborough was the architect of the fake elector scheme, if Mr. Chesborough was the architect of some plan to bring down democracy, which is what I've heard over and over for the last couple of months, both in court and out of court, would the district attorney of Fulton County have offered him probation and first offender status? I think the answer is no. And I think if you asked her, the answer would be no. And so while Mr. Ches Chesborough did take responsibility for conspiracy to commit filing of false documents, I want to make something clear. He did not implicate anyone else. He implicated himself in that particular charge. And while he is required to go testify truthfully if he's called by the state, and Mr. Chesborough is a man of his word, and he will go testify truthfully if called by the state, the state's going to have to decide at some point whether they think Mr. Chesborough's testimony will help them. And if they believe it will help them, well, they'll call him and he'll come testify. But also at the same time, Katie, I will say, if he's called by a defendant, he will come testify and testify truthfully. Scott, no, listen, you and I have been doing this for a long time, right? Although I technically don't do it anymore. I do this. But you, your client gave a recorded proffer to the state of Georgia. And are, what did he say? I'm not at liberty to say exactly what he said, but here's what I'm at liberty to say. Someone asked me earlier, if you were Donald Trump, would you be worried? And I could personally, honestly answer no. Um, and it's not it's not that Mr. Chesborough is trying to protect Donald Trump or anyone else. He's not. He's ready to move on with his life. But I was there in the proffer. Again, I'm not going to say what was said because it is a confidential proffer and that will probably get me in trouble. But I can say that I personally do not believe the state will call him to testify on their behalf. If they do and if I'm wrong, Mr. Chesborough will be there. He'll testify truthfully. If I were the state, Scott I would not call him. All right, guys, so we got to talk about a clip that is pretty hilarious because it is an example of the mainstream liberal media getting their bubble burst in regards to their narrative against Trump. Now, the clip that we got to talk about is in relation to the RICO charges against Trump uh, in Georgia. You guys know the RICO charges, the election interference case that has been levied against Trump by Miss Fanny Pack Willis, the woke unhinged da out of fulton county who is prosecuting uh political opponents uh to gain clout and to possibly run for higher office clearly she's doing this for her own political career um and that is why she's bringing this case against trump and his allies now there's been some developments in that case as you have two co-defendants uh lawyers sydney powell you guys all remember her the cracking lady and kenneth cheese bro the guy who has been accused of being the architect for the so-called fake elector scheme which really is called the alternative elective scheme or the contingent elector uh scheme or theory they have now took a plea deal before this thing could go to trial okay and the plea deal for sydney powell was that she pleaded guilty to six misdemeanor counts while cheese bro pleaded guilt uh pleaded to a felony count of conspiracy to commit filing false documents now understand these individuals did not plead guilty when it came to the rico charges the rico charges actually got dropped okay however uh the expectation for the mainstream liberal media is that these individuals are going to testify against trump during the rico prosecution and the lawyer for mr kenneth cheesebro is going to burst a bubble in the mainstream liberal media narrative because they keep running with this narrative that, hey, these guilty pleas means that Trump, he's done, right? The nail is in the coffin, right? If you look at MSNBC's headline here, the nail is in the coffin, right? These individuals have implicated Trump and that Trump is done because of these plea deals. These individuals are going to testify against Trump. And the lawyer for Mr. Cheesebro, uh, is actually, again, pushing back against his narrative for the mainstream liberal media. And it's pretty hilarious to watch him do it on CNN with Ale Abby Phillips, who's clearly trying to push this narrative that somehow, some way, this means that Trump is guilty. Take a look. Look, today, 
your client uh, has now implicated Trump in this criminal conspiracy. If he is called upon to testify uh, in this Georgia case, is he willing to implicate Trump on a witness stand, uh, which seems to be required in this plea deal that he just struck? So, Abby, first of all, thank you so much for having me. Second of all, I am going to respectfully disagree with you on one thing. I don't think he implicated anyone but himself. And I just want to point out two important facts that I think will get exactly to your question. Not only did he avoid jail time, but this is the most important. He did not plead guilty to the RICO charge. Mr. Chesborough pled guilty, and I printed it out to make sure I had the exact words, conspiracy to commit filing of false documents. The RICO charge was dismissed. And listen, Mr. Chesborough accepted responsibility for count 15 of the indictment, and he agreed that if he were called by the state, he would come testify truthfully. And he is a man of his word, and he will do that. Whether his testimony is going to be helpful to the state, that's going to be for the state to decide. I personally do not see his testimony being helpful for the state, but if the state wants to call him, he absolutely will come and tell the truth. And if they think that's helpful for them and they think they could convince a jury that his testimony is helpful for them, then so be it. So who in, in Mr. Chesbro's view was the architect of this fake electors plot? Mr. Chesbro doesn't think there was a fake electors plot. And, and Abby, please, again, I know I'm repeating myself, but the fake electors plot was part of the RICO conspiracy. And Fonnie Willis dismissed the RICO charge. And the charge that he pled to has nothing to do with being the architect of the fake elector plot. And I will say, and I will ask anyone listening to, to ask themselves this question. If Mr. Chesborough was the architect of the fake elector plot, then would the district attorney of Fulton County offer him five years probation and first offender? I don't think she would. And that really just proves that while he did accept responsibility for count 15, that he was never the architect of the fake elector plot. And if I think if you asked him who was, I think he would say there, was, there wasn't a fake elector plot. And there certainly wasn't an architect. And it certainly wasn't him. Yeah, so you've seen that, you heard that. Okay, now again, the mainstream liberal media is trying to implicate Trump and Kenneth Cheeseboro's plea deal, which is simply not the case, okay? He's not implicating Trump. He's only implicating himself. And then they're also trying to assume that because they gave Kenneth Cheesebro and Sidney Powell plea deals, that they're required to testify against Trump and that, again, their testimony is going to be used to hurt Trump, aka they're going to snitch on Trump. They're going to rat Trump out. This is what the mainstream liberal media narrative is, which also is what the attorney is pushing back on. And he's saying, well, look, the reason why Fannie Pack Willis uh, gave the plea deal is because she wasn't ready, right? Her case is weak. It's falling apart. And this is why she's doing this. Okay. That's why this is happening. They don't have anything. Now, remember these people, right? These uh, co-defendants, they separated themselves from everybody else. They wanted speedy trials. And they got what they wanted in regards to speedy trials. And they basically offered this guy a golden parachute, basically. Okay, they basically kind of let him off. I don't think he's going to jail. And if you look at the facts of the case, okay, this is what mainstream liberal media is not telling you. If you actually watch the uh, plea deal kind of ceremony in court where they offer him the plea deal with Sidney Powell in her case, uh, Trump is not mentioned at all, right? For whatever reason, her lawyer was able to not even have Trump mentioned at all. Now, when it comes to Kenneth Chaseborough, okay, in the kind of statement of facts, they do mention Trump a lot. However, however, that statement of facts can be overly broad in the sense that, um, you know, Kenneth Chaseborough can come back and say, hey, you know, uh, you can say all those things, but I only pleaded guilty to discharge, right? Even though some of the things you're saying, um, I'm a part of it, but I only pleaded guilty to this one specific charge. And that is why his lawyer is telling CNN and MSNBC that don't just jump the gun here and think that uh, 
his testimony is going to be helpful. And I want you guys to understand, again, this is also what the mainstream liberal media is not telling you, right? Um, Fannie Willis, her case is so bad, right? That, again, they gave these guys, like, basically nothing, right? They basically let them off in the sense that um, all they got to do, City Powell and Kenneth Cheeseboro, uh, is just be on good behavior, don't violate their probation, and basically their charges go away. It's almost as if they were convicted of nothing it's not even really even a conviction right it's gonna like like it, it's gonna go away it's basically a diversion program and again the mainstream liberal media they're not talking about that right the only thing they're talking about oh this is so bad for trump this is terrible for trump but it's like again if you actually watch um the plea deals right if you actually watch it uh and you listen you're like wait wait what are they getting out of this right what's happening here like they, they're not going to jail they get they sit on probation and as long as they don't do anything, essentially, they're going to get off, right? They can honestly say, I've never been convicted. Do you understand that this is a guilty plea, which, be, which well, for your case, you're asking for first offender. So once you complete a first offender, you can honestly say that you have not been convicted of a felony. And I'll go over that with you a little bit more. Yes, I understand. So what what did she actually get? She didn't, she didn't get anything. Again, because they don't have anything, right? They wanted to send this man to jail. They wanted to send Kenneth Cheeseboro to jail, right? And the lawyers was like, no, no, unless you give us a better plea deal, we're, we're not going to, uh, or we're going to go to trial. And it was like, okay, well, we'll give you a better plea deal because even Fanny Pack Willis didn't want it to go to trial. They didn't want it to go to trial because they don't have anything. Again, they're, they're accusing this guy of being the architect of the so-called fake electors plot. And basically, they gave this man the best plea deal in the world because they don't have anything, okay? Not because he's going to squeal on Trump. There's no guarantee. This is what liberal media is saying. This is how they're trying to justify it, right? Oh, well, he's going to squeal on Trump. We don't know that. His lawyer is saying that mm, probably not, right? It doesn't make sense. But I'm just saying, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, Trump's attorneys said of this, right, the fact that the RICO charges were dismissed, dismissed against this guy they said quote it is very important for everyone to note that the rico racketeering charge was dismissed trump's lawyer said i fully expect that truthful testimony would be favorable to my defense strategy so what you have here right is a situation where if you believe the mainstream liberal media uh this guy is gonna go into uh the racketeering uh trial case and he's gonna rat trump out right he's gonna uh, basically prove that Trump is, is guilty. Even though, again, this guy did not plead guilty to being a part of the larger criminal scheme, right? Um, if you believe them, that that's what's going to happen. However, if you believe his lawyer and Trump's lawyers, they're saying, hey, look, the RICO charges got dismissed. Fannie Pack Willis did not seem to be ready. She seems to be over her skis, right? Which I personally believe, okay? I, I, I personally believe that. Now, again, you know, I'm not saying that this necessarily helps Trump. I really don't know. Uh, I don't know if it hurts him either. What I do know is that the mainstream liberal media pushing this narrative that somehow, some way, this is a nail in Trump's coffin. When, again, this guy didn't even plead guilty to the RICO charge, which is the most serious one. Again, it's just hilarious because... What they're trying to do is play off people's ignorance. But if you actually listen to the lawyer for Kenneth Cheesebro, he's saying, look, if I was a state, I wouldn't call this guy. If they actually want to uh, find Trump guilty, I wouldn't call this guy because I don't think that his testimony is going to be helpful. Who knows? Maybe, just maybe, his testimony might actually be helpful for the defense. But again, you know, it's just pretty fascinating to see the narrative from the liberal media and then you actually pay attention to what the lawyers are saying. And again, that's his lawyer. So, of course, he's going to say whatever he can to make his client look good or in the best light. So, you know, again, I guess you can only take his word with a grain of salt. But still, right, I believe him when he says that, you know, hey, his client is not implicating anybody except himself. And that who knows, maybe, you know, if the state actually does call him to be a witness, it's not going to work out well for the state. They're not going to gain anything from it. But again, who knows? We have to see. But from what I do know, again, stop paying attention to the mainstream liberal media. If you look at just the facts here, 
Fannie Willis charged all these people with these RICO charges, this grand scheme where you have people like Sidney Powell, Kenneth Cheeseboro are supposed to be the lieutenants of Trump, the mob boss, right? And she's not even getting convictions on a RICO charge, right? Again, they told us this was a plot to overthrow the United States, guys, right? This is what they told us. So again, the fact that she's not even getting the, the lieutenants in the RICO tells you that they, it's weak. This is a very weak case. Like this is falling apart, right? It's falling apart from the beginning because she had nothing from the beginning. This was politically motivated, right? And, and the mainstream liberal media is carrying her water by going out here and pretending that this is some W for Fannie Willis when it, it's not a W, right? Again, it can go both ways. Sidney Powell, Kenneth Chesborough, they can testify. The testimony can go both ways. They don't necessarily have to come out here and say, oh, well, Trump was the mob boss and he directed us to do this and that and the other. They don't have to do that. Right. But again, that's not the story that the mainstream liberal media is telling people. But then again, there are some people that say, oh, well, you know, the prosecutors can use this because these are guilty pleas. These people work for the Trump campaign. It's doom and gloom for Trump, which I mean, who knows? Again, this stuff is so politically motivated. It could be right. It, it could be. But, you know, I'm just saying it's just funny watching this lawyer basically pushed back against the narrative here that, you know, this guy is going to snitch or going to flip on Trump or that his testimony uh, in the RICO case is going to hurt Trump for certain when I'm not necessarily sure if that is the case. OK, but hey, you know, that's my opinion. Take my opinion with a grain of salt. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.